With gas welding, the metal is heated gently and slowly, so this joining method can only be used for conventional or tool steel, non-ferrous metals and cast iron. The thickness of the metal must not exceed 5 mm either. Pay attention to the white color of the flame. This means that a mixture of oxygen and fuel gas is used. The welding method shown in the video looks quite original. The flame flux is well adjusted and provides excellent adhesion. It's a type of pressure welding in which two metal surfaces are joined by deforming the area in which they come into contact. In this particular case, one of the parts to be welded rotates or moves in relation to the other. Friction is then generated by this interaction and it heats the contact area, resulting in direct welding. The process can be divided into three stages. During the first stage, the frictional force destroys and removes the oxide films present on the surface in the initial state. During the second stage, heat is released and the material becomes moldable under its influence. First, temporary contact occurs, but then it breaks. The parts are pressed with constant or increasing pressure, which causes the most moldable parts of the pieces to be welded to be extruded from the joint. Finally, the third step is the end of friction. It's completed by the formation of a welded joint. This welding method was first used in 1956, after which it was actively introduced into the industry worldwide. Most of the time you should opt for laser beam welding. As you can guess, the laser acts as an energy source. It was first used in the 1960s when the first continuous wave and pulsed laser systems appeared. The welding process is quite simple. The laser beam is directed to the focusing system, becoming a beam with a smaller cross section and hitting the parts to be welded. Partially reflected, the laser beam penetrates the material. The metal then absorbs it, heating up and melting. This is how welding joints are formed. Interestingly, this welding method is much more environmentally friendly compared to traditional welding techniques.